At Grandma's house, the lights come on and the kids pile into the kitchen to grab their lunches with uncommon enthusiasm for a school day. They are wound up this morning. Out the door to the car they go, but pause for a moment to look at their lunches, which are packed as if it were 100 years ago, old school style. They couldn't take Cheetos today because Cheetos weren't until 1948, so... <laughs> Into the car, they begin a long journey from deep in Evergreen all the way to Morrison to arrive at a special place, a one-room schoolhouse called the Medlin School. Overflow! Overflow! Where the day starts with hand pumping out the water. But school has to be called into session. And inside, 11-year-old Emily Hawley, her cousin and brother, put on their outfits patterned after the 1920s and get ready to go to work. The school was built in 1886 and restored in its original location, complete with old-time desks. If a man can travel... Joanne Dunn stands at the head of the class as teacher. Lessons are taught as they used to be. They love pretending to be that they're... Uh, a child of the past. There are slates to write on. No computers or cell phones. Hands go up with answers. Emily, who is in her element, may prefer the school. I think I like it more. When it's time to go to the chalkboard, the pressure is on. The teacher even has a little difficulty figuring out what Emily is doing with long division. That's probably right. She's right and you might not be right? Very possibly. <laughs> Very possibly. Some people just have a knack. I love it. You love it? <laughs> Taking kids back in time gives them a different perspective on history. For children, experiencing something is something they remember better than you just tell them. So that, that's our whole point. <laughs> Reliving the olden days is great, except for one thing. Yeah, they still use a real outhouse. It smells. But still, the Medlin School is a place where kids can get smarter. <laughs> while living a little simpler. In Morrison, Alan Janae, covering Colorado First.